And the woman says, okay, come on in. So I think it's the back of the Yes. So uh, McDonald's or Carl's Jr.? Let's try, oh, Let's try McDonald's. Let's try McMuffin. That muffin? Yes. Uh, in my case, by the time I tried it, it was 30 seconds later. Okay, okay we're not going to go there? No. Okay. Uh, but I am the limiter tested uh, on a regular basis, either weekly or monthly. And it, it, it can be The people in Holland look at prostitution as just a way for women to make a living. Why we can't do that, well, I'll tell you why we can't do that, because we have a, an enormously conservative uh, number of people in this country that are real good at telling us what to do, how to do it, They're totally against uh, governmental intervention, unless you're in the bedroom. Then they're all for governmental intervention. Handcuffs, for the most part. Yeah, good luck. All right, the uh, Theranos verdict. Uh, look at the phone. I want to give you a little story uh, a behind the scenes part of this. And I, uh, the defense actually, her defense actually had a very good point. And I'm going to share that with you when we come back. All right, Jennifer Jones Lee. LA County is making free COVID 19 testing kits available to people who have COVID symptoms or may have been exposed to COVID. People in LA County can get the test kit delivered to their home by going to covid19.lacounty.gov forward slash home test. Results should come back within 48 hours after the test has been submitted. News is brought to you by American Vision Windows. The Grammy Awards may be put on hold because of COVID-19. A report from Billboard says the awards show is expected to be postponed because of the massive increase in the Omicron cases across the country. The show is scheduled to be held at Crypto.com Arena at the end of the month. A man from Huntington Park has been sentenced to 21 years for robbing nearly two dozen Trader Joe's over a three-month period. Federal prosecutors say Greg Johnson used a semi-automatic handgun to terrorize employees and customers in locations as far north as Agora Hills and as far south as Irvine. Johnson not only admitted to the armed robbery, he also told investigators he robbed some of the stores more than once. The anniversary of the January 6th attack on the Capitol is a couple of days away, and according to a new bulletin from the Department of Homeland Security, members of extremist groups could take advantage of it. ABC's Pierre Thomas says there's been no specific threat, but Capitol Police are on alert. The lone wolves most likely to act are those who adhere to ideologies associated with promoting the superiority of the white race, militia violent extremism, and conspiracy theories, including those related to QAnon. And Thomas also says that the Capitol Police will put up fencing or call in the National Guard if there's a specific threat calling, uh, calling for large numbers of people. Officials in Kentucky say they're working to get as much federal help as possible for the people impacted by recent tornadoes. Governor Andy Bashir says he plans to ask the Biden administration for an extension that will allow more people to apply for money to rebuild their homes and communities. We know it's going to take a lot longer than 30 days, and the costs are a mess, exceeding $100 million to ultimately clean up that debris. He says officials are also working to get trailers that can be temporary homes for people who have been displaced. Kentucky was hit by tornadoes last month and again on New Year's Day. You're a mean one. And investigators in Oklahoma are looking for a Grinchy delivery person who dumped hundreds of packages right before Christmas. Police say they received a report on New Year's Day of nearly 600 Amazon packages that were found in a wooded area. Many of the packages were opened, but officials are working with the USPS to get unopened items delivered. We got your job again on the 10. Oh, ooh, that, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to do uh, two sections of this. Now we'll start with the San Bernardino Freeway. If you're approaching uh, the Golden State Freeway, we're going to get off at State Street. You still can. Still shut down due to an early morning crash. Most of the activity is gone, but Caltrans still working there. Some workers down there trying to clean it up. So use Soto before you get there or continue to the 101. The West Bend itself is in good shape. Now, if you do continue, if you make that transit, kind of a weird transition going West San Bernardino, you have to go South 5 and then continue West Bend, Seth Monica. But the Alabina off ramp is really busy. It's back up onto the right lane of the freeway, as a matter of fact. There was a ray. It looks like he got going. So that's what it's all about. After that, though, pretty good drive out to West LA. I mentioned the problem in the last report. Uh, from uh, Santa Monica, Washington, it's, it's open. Even a, a beach drive coming off CCH all the way downtown, looking good. We're flying east, more coming up.
Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, Superlawyer.com, Jeff Falk, AFI in the Sky. L.A. Football Club has made Steve Carundolo as their next head coach. He's an accomplished player and coach, most recently with the Las Vegas Life Football Club. And here he is being inducted into the National Soccer Hall of Fame last year. I do not like to think about myself. So, I am going to try not to do that. Um, I wasn't good at scoring goals. But if you will, I will stay in the back line today and just today. There's hockey at Honda Center as the Ducks get the Philadelphia Flyers tonight at 7. Anaheim sitting just behind the first place Las Vegas Golden Knights in the Pacific Division standings. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. We try to answer your house. Uh, extra makes a lot of sense. Here's why. Uh, first of all, you got a lot more equity in your house than you think. Because uh, uh, property values have exploded and uh, that equity does nothing. Just this borrowing against that equity uh, when you're, the interest rates are this low allows you to take that money and invest it. Make a lot more money than what you're paying in interest rates. Uh, also, you can remodel, college education, it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to suggest uh, doing something that I have done twice, and that's called HMS Capital. Mark Tice of HMS Capital says, apply with a competitor at the same time you apply with his company, or with the company he's associated with, HMS Capital. And they're the only lender I know that actually encourages you to apply with other lenders. They're that confident they can get you the best deal. Uh, go ahead, take the challenge. Apply with another company at the same time. Call 833-255-5698, 833-255-5698. Visit hmscapital.com. Weather from KFI. We've got a sunny day ahead. Still pretty cool. Highs will just be in the mid 50s to the mid 60s, and we'll drop back into the upper 30s and low 40s tonight. We leave local. Oh, right from the Cape Hour Newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. The King of 2021 Resolution wants to win Cape Town. It's the New Year, Southern California. Are you planning yeah. another year of dead grass, oh, and mowing, and watering? Make 2022 green and worry-free with your local leader in dirt, right. tough, turtle turf. Erase the labor-intensive work, high water bills, and struggle, and enjoy a lot green, worry-free yard with a limited lifetime warranty. Durable and trusted tough turtle turf will transform your living space and add extra room for your family to enjoy. Let our design specialists create a beautiful new space this right. year. Pet friendly and kid friendly, your entire family will create new memories together for years to come. This is the year to transform your yard from eyesore to oasis. For a limited time, get your new yard with zero down zero interest for 12 months. Call now, 888-655-2661 or visit cockpitlerturf.com today. The leaders in turf. Peter's Sinai is right here, with over 250 locations in Southern California. Good morning, Joe Handel here on a uh, Thursday morning, January a cold day for sure. If you're calling 911, yeah, be prepared to wait for a while because uh, everybody's out with uh, COVID. And then, uh, I will note that the Unified School District is now ordering mandatory COVID testing for students and staff. And that is uh, some of the most restricted, um, restricted testing in the country. All right, uh, the other big news, Elizabeth Holmes, uh, the ex-CEO of uh, Theranos, uh, a company that yeah, is founded. Yeah. And the premise was uh, you take a little pinprick of blood uh, much like a diabetic does to determine uh, how much sugar is in the system in your blood uh, in your, in your blood supply. And 
with that little uh, pinprick of blood, over 200 diseases can be determined. I mean, all the, every kind of cancer, uh, every uh, kind of virus. I mean, it's really crazy stuff. And she sold it. She sold it. Oh, did she sell it? Uh, oh, almost a billion dollars uh, that went into that company. And she got nailed for fraud uh, because the jury believes that she went beyond what's called puffery. Puffery is, this is the best in the world. Okay, I mean, that's where a lot of you say that. Uh, this is America's favorite insert name of product here. You're still not allowed to say it. Uh, what you can't say is uh, the National or the American College of Pediatrics says that this is the best when that's not true. That's beyond technology. Uh, that's a fact. And what she did, according to the jury, it was not uh, puffery. What she said is this will, in fact, be, uh, you'll be able to discern the diseases with a pinprick in this little device. And uh, it turned out to be not true. But here's her defense. She argued uh, that this was aspirational. She argued that the people who invested in this product were very sophisticated investors. And they were, by the way, very wealthy people. And their names are instantly recognizable. Betty DeVos, who was uh, Secretary of Education under Trump. Uh, George Schultz, former uh, head of the State Department, uh, Henry Kissinger, I mean, it's just a of people who invested in this. The Walmart people invested a ton of money, and she says they did it like other investors do into companies that are aspirational. This is what we will do. This is the plan for us. Well... The jury said, uh, no, you said, we have this information. We have this technology. This is working. Which, incidentally, uh, was not. She kind of sort of made it up. It never did what she claimed it did. So now, those are facts. This will work. This has worked. Not just, we think it's going to work and you can make a fortune. Investors dive on this stuff. Why? Because look at early investors in, um, well, Walmart a million years ago, but Amazon and Tesla. I mean, they're just cleaning up. So you have more investors, more money out there than there are deals because they're all crazy to invest because they're going to uh, pull the brass ring. They're going to get the holy grail. You're putting very little money, and all of a sudden, you're going to make a ton of money, and that's the whole point of investing. Uh, this all started, incidentally, in the 1930s uh, with Hewlett Packard. Goes so back that far, and then all of the the vast majority of tech companies. Uh, I, mean, I, I don't know of any tech company that has grown internally. Uh, you're talking about Hewlett Packard. Uh, you know, what else? Uh, what other companies can I think of? Uh, Apple is another one where you invested early. Oh my God, did you make a pile of money? Certainly Tesla. So her defense was, hey, just look at these guys. They invest like crazy. And they will keep on investing, incidentally. She was convicted of fraud. Wire fraud, lying to investors, saying what is not true, which is way beyond what investors think is going to happen with people who create products and services and new products. And so this is what we think is going to happen. And most investors don't make money on it. I mean, it's a gamble. And the earlier someone comes to the investor, uh, the more they take as a percentage of the company. So if you just have an idea, uh, then you're going to get some money, and you are going to own less and less of your company. You have to give away a, a, just a great majority of the company. And those early investors were called angel investors. Uh, because they're really good. And but they get a huge share. And that's exactly what so many investment groups and funds do exactly that. Because they can invest a pile of money. And all they do, I have to hit, is one or two. Because the profits are so astronomical when they guess right. All right. She went beyond that. She argued, we really didn't say that uh, this worked. We said this, we think it's going to work. 
Uh, we believe it's going to work. We think the market is going to go huge. And where she went wrong is she showed uh, the little vial and said, we have and can create testing that will take that little tiny bit of blood and give you the information, let you know what kind of disease is for a tiny fraction of the cost. I mean, testing is not inexpensive. And so she came up with this magic formula, this magic product, and investors poured in. They don't pay attention. They're so desperate to invest. Well, he got caught up. The big story here is uh, I don't think investors are going to look that carefully anymore. This is just one lady who got tagged, who lied, who created. Uh, it's like financial organizations where the money just disappeared. Bernie Madoff. Does that stop people from investing in these management funds? Of course not. Bernie Madoff was just an interesting story, except for people that let him have all that money. So Elizabeth the Holmes, guilty, guilty, guilty. And a lot of people thought you know, that uh, the argument that these are very sophisticated investors, they knew what they were doing, they were willing to take the chance. No, didn't work. I thought she was going to go down pretty hard, and she is. She's going to spend a lot of years in jail, for sure. Coming up, extremism in the United States. Actually, NBC did a story about this uh, yesterday also. And uh, it's these uh, extremist groups who were there January 6th. They changed their tactics completely. And unfortunately, more successfully, they are at going and uh, succeeding where they want to go. And I'll, I'll explain that when we come back. And then we also have Tech Tuesday coming up uh, with uh, Rich DeMuro at the top of the hour. KFI AM 640, let's check in with uh, Jennifer Jones-Lee. More than 2,000 flights into or out of the U.S. have been delayed or canceled, just like yesterday. Reagan National in Washington, D.C. is having the most problems. Napa County in Northern California is out of ICU beds. The county's health department says intensive care capacity reached zero yesterday because of a surge in patients and because so many of their employees are off the job because they tested positive for COVID-19. And the EU is imposing restrictions on the ink that tattoo artists can use. The EU says as of tomorrow, it is a necessary move to protect the health of consumers because thousands of chemicals now in use can cause everything from allergic reactions to cancer. We've got your drive on the 60 with DKFI in the sky next. If uh, going to the dentist stresses you out, uh, they call it uh, dental anxiety. It's basically just being scared of going to the dentist, which is love to describe today. Uh, and there you are with uh, the, the teeth that you have neglected uh, for years, maybe decades, and maybe it's time to do something about it because you're tired of looking like that, feeling like that, not being able to eat the food you used to eat. Uh, let me suggest Cunning Dental. Uh, Cunning Dental, uh, Dr. Cunning has been around forever, 53 years, uh, can repair those years, decades of neglect, and only one, one or two appointments. And you wake up to a beautiful smile, good dental health. He does it all. Dental implants, crowns, root canals, smile, makeovers. It's a general dentistry practice. And the permanent teeth in a day procedure. You can't uh, ignore that. $1,000 off major treatments. Another $500 off your sleep treatment. All that ends January 30th. No money down payment plans. Restrictions apply. So call for a free exam, x-ray, CT scan. 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE. It's better breakfast o'clock at Wendy's, because it all starts with a better biscuit. Get hot and buttery Wendy's breakfast biscuits made with oven-baked bacon or savory sausage, fresh cracked egg, and cheese. So don't risk your biscuit, get Wendy's instead. Name a time only at participating U.S. Wendy's. SoCal weather from KFI, sunny with highs in the mid-50s to the mid-60s. This report is brought to you by Wendy's Hot and Buttery Breakfast Biscuit Sandwich. We've got your drive on the 60. <laughs> oh, my grace. Well, a good report here. I don't have to give you all of what a gloom and doom here, as we usually do. But the westbound 60, now coming away from Diamond Bar towards 605, little slow. Not bad at all. Uh, starting about 7. 
through the 605. After that, it's just a fine drive. It really is all the way to East LA. And the westbound San Bernardino about the same. The slow approach from the 605. After that, you're pretty good shape. Now, driving through South LA or to South LA, South 110, the Manchester off was earlier closed. It was due to a, a terrible incident of ped a pedestrian fatal investigation. But now there's a problem on the Manchester on to the South 110. So I'll we'll find out what's going on there for you and uh, let's know. The edge of Long Beach, a little bit of a problem south of the 405, south 710 to westbound Willow, off ramp partially blocked right now. So uh, more on that coming up and a little bit of a problem downtown uh, on the Harbor Freeway. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Fogg, AFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Del Taco. Feeling like everything costs a bajillion dollars lately? Del Taco gets it. And they got you. Del Taco's new 20 under 2 menu includes 20 fresh made guacchi, cheesy, spicy, and crunchy items for under $2 each. Can I get a Del Yeah? Price of participation may vary. If you're thinking about refinancing your home, or even if you've already refined it, it's more than worthwhile to contact HMS Capital. Mark Tice of HMS Capital recommends you apply with his company, of course, and with any competitor at the same time. He is that confident he can get you the best deal. And I've known Mark for over 16 years, and I've done two mortgages with him. So I have no problem recommending HMS Capital. No appraisal or application fees of any kind. There's the HMS Challenge. Apply with another mortgage company and with HMS Capital. Call 833-255-5698. 833-255-5698. Interest rates still ridiculously low. Visit hmscapital.com. hmscapital.com. You go above and beyond to protect your family. At Koi, so do we. Using advanced methods and solutions, we deep clean and disinfect your surfaces, air ducts, and more. We're here for emergency restoration, too. For over 70 years, families and businesses have trusted the pros at Koi. Yours can, too. Call 800 for koi to save 40% on select services. Looking to sell your valuable coins, high-end jewelry, collectibles, or fine art? Meet Cindy. She's been around the block when it comes to buying and selling jewelry. I buy jewelry to resell. I've been going to Tangible for about six, seven years. Tangible just pays more. Here's a great example of the tangible difference. I bought a gold and sapphire bracelet. I shopped it around. They offered me 50. They offered me 100. I bought it to Tangible and gave me $475 for it. More cash, more respect. Tangible treats me as well as they do the person coming in with, you know, $10,000 worth of gold. Tangible Investments owner Phil DiGenova has become America's top dealer in coins, precious metals, jewelry, and fine art. Phil guarantees you'll get more. Everything I've heard about them on the radio is true. Call now for a no-obligation free professional appraisal. 800-711-2800. 800-711-2800. 800-711-2800. Did you know your ugly, crap, stained, embarrassing driveway, patio, or walkway can actually earn you money? I'm Larry Green, CEO of System Pavers, America's number one designer and installer of elegant outdoor living systems. This season, love your home again and turn your old hardscapes into big savings with our free demolition and instant recycling cash credit. Call System Pavers today at 888-PAVE-002 and you'll save like never before because we'll demolish and remove your old, ugly concrete or asphalt for free and give you an instant recycling cash credit toward our beautiful interlocking pavers, SP turf, custom built in barbecues, fire pits, and wonderful outdoor lighting. This could add up to hundreds, even thousands in savings, but you must call now at 888-PAVE-002. 888-PAVE-002. 888-PAVE-002 or systempavers.com. All orders must be placed by January 31st and must commence within 60 days of purchase. See website for full details. Contractor's license 661575. Stimulant use disorder is a disease, not a choice. But getting help and finding treatment is. Treatment for addiction to meth and cocaine exists, even through virtual care. Stay safe and limit your exposure to COVID-19 while you start on the path to recovery. Choose treatment and choose Change California. Find a proven treatment option that's right for you at ChooseChange.com. 
www.podcastva.org. February 3rd, it's the biggest night of the year for podcast fans. These are really some of the best and brightest and smartest and most compelling minds in the country. Our 2022 iHeartRadio Podcast Awards. Make plans to join us on our Facebook, YouTube, and iHeartRadio stations across America. Treasure every moment with Long John Silver's Fish, Chicken, and Shrimp. Have your next meal shipped from our shore to your door. Or order ahead and sail past the line for pickup. Visit longjohnsilver.com to find pickup and delivery options near you. KFI AM 640. An iHeart radio station. 24 hour news. More stimulating talk. AM uh, 640, Bill Handel here, and uh, good morning on a cold uh, Tuesday, January 4th. And some of the big stories that we are covering, uh, Elizabeth Holmes, uh, the ex-CEO of Theranos, found guilty of fraud, conspiracy. That trial went on for, I think, four months? I mean, just crazy. And don't bother calling 911 and expect uh, a very quick response. Uh, so many people are out because of COVID, you are going to be sitting there waiting January 6th is coming up in a couple of days. Uh, we are obviously going to remember it, and I can't even imagine how many television programs and news items and, I guess, if you want to call it a celebration, uh, which is not, uh, dealing with January 6th, uh, because it was, uh, frankly, the worst attack on the U.S. Capitol since 1812, when the British... Uh, attacked us during the war of 1812 and uh, burnt the White House, for example. Uh, but that was an invading force. That was a foreign army. Uh, this was Americans invading our own capital. And so you have these far right wingers who were part of it, the Proud Boys, the QAnon, etc. And nothing happened as a result of that. Nothing changed. Just about a few hundred people were arrested. And so what you have are people who are part of those groups saying, okay, so that one didn't work. So which can we actually influence legislation and social mores? Let's take it to a local level. And that is working. In front of city council, in front of school boards. And you have people who are... Uh, extremely right, uh, right wing arguing against the mandate, uh, and vaccine mandate, and any number of things, uh, all kinds of uh, social teaching. Uh, it just They're just not interested in uh, what uh, I would call a modern day society. I mean, they want to just change it all. They want to go back to when we were white, when we were conservative, uh, critical thinking.